Good evening, everyone. This is Leanne from Of Love and Ship Lab and the founder of Sub That Sublimation Graphics and Tutorials here on Facebook. If you're joining us on YouTube, be sure to come join our Facebook group for regular live videos on anything and everything that relates to sublimation, white toner, direct to garment, owning a business, building website, marketing, and so much more. Tonight, I'm super excited to show you guys um, a product that I got in a few weeks ago, but I've been a little busy and haven't had a chance to do. But as I've been getting my house together for the holidays, I really wanted to display one of these by my fireplace. And I will be showing you guys that picture when it's all done in the group. <coughs> so what I am talking about is Buffalo plaid Russell pillowcases. Um, if you guys are not aware of the farmhouse trend, uh, I can promise you it's not going anywhere for a few years. So as long as Joanna Gaines is still doing her thing, we are going to be seeing a lot of buffalo plaid and farmhouse. And all of this is perfect for not only the holiday season, but all year round. And honestly, my favorite products to show you are the ones that are not just for one time of year. The best products you can offer are ones that can be switched out during the season. So the, um, the red and black buffalo plaid really is more Christmassy than anything else. But the black and white ones, which these do come both ways, are a bit more popular for the rest of the year. So both of these items came from Single J's Sublimation. Uh, they offer buy-ins and ready-to-ship products. The ready-to-ship products are always what is available on hand, so you might miss them and have to wait till they get restocked. Just something to keep in mind. But these particular pillows were... Sorry, I gotta look at my little cheat sheet for the pricing. They are $5.25 if you buy them ready to ship, and they are $4.25 if you buy them in the buy-in. So the nice part about the buy-ins with single J's is the minimum order quantity is usually pretty low. It's On average, it's three or five pieces, which isn't that many, of course, and you get to save a little bit of money, and that little bit really does add up. So I'm going to turn this around and show you guys what we are working with in terms of these great throw pillow covers. So as I just mentioned, um, these are throw pillow covers and they come in these nice little bags and you can do either black and white or um, the red and black buffalo plaid. So I'm going to be doing the red, and, um, the red and black today because that's perfect for the holidays. I have got, I wanted to do mine double sided so that's what we're going to do because I thought that this one would be great for, um, you know, going leading up into Christmas but then after Christmas for January and February by my fireplace, I can have it flipped onto this side. Both of these awesome designs are from my shop, www.ofloveandshiplap.us. These are part of our Celebrate 15K bundle, which consists of 100 designs plus over $600 in two throwback collections from 2018. So a throwback collection is a set of designs. In this case, it is all of my patterned Christmas states. So that alone is um, about a $600 value. And then it's seven children's designs from 2018. And then the rest are all brand new designs that are currently available um, as a bundle where you get all of that, almost $1,000 in digital graphics that have transfer printing license and commercial use license included, all for $35. So this bundle is only available for a limited time. If you haven't grabbed it, you better. And if you end up watching this video at a later time, sorry, this bundle was just running for the beginning of November as a special promotion for our sub that group reaching, um, reaching 15,000 members. So what I really like about these pillows, it's on the other side, is that they have the hidden zipper and it's right on the seam line. So that makes it perfect for you to be able to sublimate on both sides. You don't really need much for these. You want to always have a lint roller, which we have ours. You can use adhesive spray or tape if you would like. I don't plan on using it today, um, but I did just want to make sure to show you guys. This is the one that I do use when necessary. Loctite spray adhesive, um, repositional. And of course, spray or tape is just designed to help keep your transfer in place. Um, me personally, I've done this enough that I don't have too many issues with ghosting. Um, it's actually pretty rare. And when it does happen, I'm almost surprised. <laughs> so a lot of that is just getting to understand your press and being careful with how it opens and things like that. So these pillows are, I believe, let's see, 
Yes. So these pillows are just over 17 inches by 17 inches. Typically, I would do my design about 14 inches, but because I didn't want to have to split a design for these, um, I did them 12 and a half by 12 and a half so that they would fit on a 13 by 19 paper. So let's go ahead and get this in front of the press. And while we're pressing it, we'll talk more about pricing and selling these. So the first thing we want to do is pre-press. So we're going to go ahead and get this up on our press because we want to get all of these lines from it being folded out as one thing. And two, pre-pressing pushes out that moisture so that we don't get any ghosting. Um, so many people don't understand what causes ghosting. Ghosting, there are a couple of different causes, but one of them is when your fabrics shrink as the moisture is being pushed out. I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to pre-press fabrics. It's just like when you take your clothes out of the dryer and they feel tight, it's not because they've shrunk. <laughs> it's actually because um, the moisture has been sucked out of the fibers of the fabric in the dryer. And then, of course, as you wear it, it absorbs um, moisture from the atmosphere and from your body. And then it seems to stretch back out. So I'm going to use a Teflon sheet. And because this is like a burlap canvas type material, I'm going to go ahead and pre-press this for at least 30 seconds. <laughs> Typically, you can get away with pre-pressing for about half the time that your substrate needs to, to be actually pressed. So that is just something to keep in mind. <coughs> and I'm just doing this at 400 degrees. And like I said, we're just going to do about 30 seconds and we'll see where we're at. but not quite. So I'm actually going to press it just a little bit longer because the smoother the surface, the better it'll be for transferring our design. Keep in mind that if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments and I will answer them after we are live. All the links for the products we're using today are in our video description. So be sure to go ahead and check those out. And I just did about 15 seconds more. And I think that that is pretty good to get us going. So we're going to go ahead and lint roll. We want to make sure that there is no hidden fuzzies that we don't know about on here because of course those hidden fuzzies can leave little blue marks on our, on our pillow, which I do not want on my fireplace. So I've already, this was a 13 by 19 page and I already went ahead and trimmed the top and bottom just to make it easier as I'm trying to place this. Um, I printed our transfers tonight with my Workforce 7710 using Printer Jack ink and Printer Jack paper. Both the links for those are in the video description. I am really impressed with this paper. I just started using it. If you guys have seen some of my earlier videos, you know that I have been a text print XPHR for Epson. Um, kind of a snob about it uh, for a while. I've been really impressed by that paper. I'm actually more impressed by printer jacks. So let's go ahead and get our design centered. We can actually move this up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and use my laser level. If you guys are not familiar with these, you can get them at Walmart, it's about $16. Used to be cheaper. Apparently you guys kept buying them and they upped the price. So what I like to do is line it up with the edge of my press, make sure that my little bubbles are centered. And then once they are, I can line up the bottom of this. And then always measure twice because you don't want to waste the substrate. I'm going to go ahead and check where we are at. Yeah, about two and a half there. over just a little bit. And up a little bit. Let's check that over one more time. Okay. Now I actually wasn't going to use spray, but the paper is curling a little bit, ouch, probably from the heat. So I actually am going to use some spray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my tape measure right here as kind of a guide to where I'm gonna put my paper back and I'm gonna move this down 
as well, just to make my life a little bit easier. So when you spray these, um, the easiest way to do it is to kind of spray your spray at an angle, not directly on the paper, because you don't want any droplets or anything to get on the paper and blur your ink. So I'm gonna, you guys can kind of see it. And as I'm doing it, I'm kind of waving the paper into it. I know it's a little hard to see on the camera, but hopefully you get the idea. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and line this right back up. There we go, that was hot. All right, we're gonna add some blowout paper. Just in case any ink escapes from the paper. So far I've had really good luck with Printer Jack ink and I haven't had any blowout issues, so that's kind of cool. And we're gonna do these for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. All right, so let's talk pricing while this is going. Um, how you sell your pillow covers will really depend on the market that you're catering to. If you tend to sell a lot at craft fairs, you want a good mix of those that are just the pillow covers and then also um, having them stuffed with inserts. And there, uh, pillowflex.com is a great website to get inserts in bulk at a discounted rate um, that are like high quality inserts, not like the cheap crap inserts that we buy at Walmart or Joann's. <laughs> so um, just kind of keep that website in mind. Me personally, I sell my pillow covers only. I do not sell them filled and I sell them between $15 and $18, kind of depending on the pillow. So because I consider this to be a specialty pillow because of the buffalo plaid ruffles, I would sell this one for $18 and then I would actually sell it for, I would actually sell it for um, $22 if they want a double-sided design. So first, give you guys a nice close-up. There is no ink residue on that blowout paper, which is awesome. Um, papers like Aesop, I swear I always, always had issues with blowout. And then we had excellent ink release. And if we have a nice look at this, we got beautiful colors. Let me see if I can kind of drape that over the press for you so it'll be easier to see. Um, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. And this design looks so good with the buffalo plaid. I'm really happy. <laughs> You'll notice that we didn't have any press lines. Um, we're using medium pressure if I didn't say that. We're going to give this just a minute to cool. Anytime you do something double-sided, you want to um, let it cool before you do the backside because that'll help prevent any ink from re-releasing. So we're going to kind of shake it out and let it cool for a second. And then once it's cooled down, I'm going to put a piece of blow-up paper down just in case the ink does get reactivated and it escapes. Because keep in mind, you don't ever want to waste a costly substrate. Go ahead and put that down. All right. Also, I didn't show you guys this, but always make sure that your zipper is on the bottom. I did, but just in case. Now, because we already did the other one, we know that um, we're looking for about two and a half inches all the way around, so I'll make this pretty quick to place. I think this one's actually, this design was just a little bit bigger because uh, the holly leaves on the other one. The holly leaves on the other one. Um, guys Jasper took off after a cat and I had to <laughs> go go uh, make sure that he didn't go across the fence line because he does have a remote collar on he's okay though oh, you guys have pets you know how fun this can be all right so let me um, double check to make sure our design is straight which is of course very important again I love the laser level it's perfect for things like this especially because this design is rounded so it's a little hard to measure because um, you'd have to measure so many different spots to make sure that it's straight. So it looks like we are straight and we are centered. We'll go ahead and put our blowout paper on there. One more time for 400 degrees 
for 60 seconds. And you can see that right there. Um, as I mentioned before, this is a 16, or maybe I didn't mention it this time. This is a 16 by 20 press from acesdeals.net. And that, um, that particular link is also in the video description. Now, I absolutely love these pillows. They're really nice quality. Um, like I said, the, the ruffle part is sort of like a, um, it's not flannel, but it is kind of like flannel. Uh, and actually it feels very much like flannel. <laughs> and then the pillow main part is like a burlap canvas. So it's nice and thick. It's perfect for double designs and people can put it over top of any throw pillow that they have. And this makes great holiday decor. It also makes a great gift. So again, these are $425 if you get them in buy-in and $525 if you um, get them on hand. And whoops, hot. lift those up. And once again, we can see that we've got beautiful colors. We didn't have, we had a little bit of ink re-release. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's getting dark out here. But we do have a little bit of ink re-release, which is why, again, it's important to have that. But you'll see it didn't impact the color at all. And look at that snowman. I am super excited to get this by my fireplace, and I will post a picture of how that little project is coming along after I do. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And other than that, thank you so much for joining us and being part of SubThat. Have a great day.